and welcome to Learning from Leaders. This is your host, Patrick Dewar. My guest today is John Davis of ArborsMarketing.com. John is a tree care specialist. Well, that's kind of an understatement. He's somebody that has had national impact in the arborist industry or tree care industry, and I'm really thankful for him being here. One of the best things that I'm, I want you to get out of today's show is how many industries John's material can be transferred into. Not just the tree care industry, and I hope that if you're in that industry, that you will go to arboristmarketing.com and let him begin to show you how you can avoid the six biggest mistakes and grow your business right now, but develop a relationship with John. And so as we get into this, ep this, this section of learning from leaders, I want to talk about how you have been able to secure such tremendous growth for all the industries or all the companies that you've worked with. John, thank you for being on the show. Glad to be here. Yeah. Why don't we get into what are some of the things that um, the, the folks that you've worked with, what are some of the keys that you begin to implement right away? One of the things we do when we go into a business once they've uh, uh, agreed to go on with us is is begin to reallocate their marketing budget, which has been a blow, uh, just a, a tremendous thing for a lot of our clients, is that a lot of them are throwing a lot of money at a lot of wasted advertisement and uh, non-measurable. Because see, the difference between uh, institutional marketing and the marketing that we teach is we teach everything you do must be measurable. You must know what the ROI, the return on your investment is, or don't do it, okay? Uh, so we've been, we, we, we've been able to allocate uh, budgets that sometimes are, are $50,000, cut them down to 10 and under uh, by doing emotional direct response and, and, and measurable type marketing. So you're not just throwing stuff, you know, that, that what we call letter fly marketing, you know. Everybody else is doing it. So right. it's what we call name, rank, and serial number, okay? Uh, the yellow page look just like the next person's. Uh, the ad look, you know, they're using it, so I'm going to use it, okay? We, we destroy that, okay? Then we begin to rebuild that with things that's measurable, okay? Where if I'm going to spend a dollar, I want a buck and a half, or I want a buck 20. If you're not getting it, you go somewhere else. So you test. And, and that has been the greatest thing that is an eye-opener uh, to, to businesses that we deal with because they're spending a lot of money. If they're spending 50 grand on yellow pages and all this stuff, uh, then they are, you know, uh, they drop that down to 10,000, but yet their business is increasing. So we, so we immediately can put $30,000 or so, or at least 60% of your marketing budget on your bottom line and use that for, you know, somewhere else. And so that's been the, the, the greatest eye opener for most of them, okay? Then we immediately put in a guarantee system, uh, which uh, uh, closes sales 30% and more, uh, you know, uh, almost overnight, okay? Then we put in the newsletter system, uh, which will again, over a period of a year, increase 30%. But back to your original question, it's the, it's the reallocation of their marketing budget uh, and what now you can do with them dollars. And, 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 and the next biggie would be, now they know where every dollar's going. They don't have to give a yellow page company, you know, 15 grand, cross their fingers, and because it's not how many that calls, it's how many you close, right. okay? Uh, and, and good profitable clients. Uh, so uh, once you do that, you begin to attract our yellow page market that we teach them uh, begins to attract affluent clients and good clients that are not afraid or not they, you know, bother them to spend good money for a good service. So, so I guess that would be the great, the biggest takeaway that uh, the biggest change that we make immediately in their business. So you, you'll go in and begin to find the exact areas where they can begin to um, um, create measurable responses and really um, have effective results in the efforts that they're making. Right, and right. one of the things that I see is really huge for you and for your clients, really, is that you've already invested in the testing, haven't you? Yes, yes. So you've already been able to prove that this postcard, yeah, we, we, we can tell this what, what works, letter, what work. this yeah, sequence, yeah. these words, right. this style of... of um, um, even the way that, that you guys use the trucks and right. the people and the surveys, which I know you guys are right. real big on surveys. Right. Right. I mean, you go in to find out what people want to buy right. and then 
go sell it to them. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, I've been really surprised at the, at the tools that you've been able to, to share. And so anybody that does have a service industry could benefit from that. Sure. The only difference between a tree care firm and any other firm is tree service is already mentioned, okay? You take that out and put your name, whether you're HVAC, whether you're roofing, whether you're whatever. Now, there's going to be a little things you tweak. Not much. Not much. Uh, and we'll tweak it for them, but, but it's, it, it's, there's not much difference in a direct uh, three sequence and direct marketing uh, campaign to a, a, a tree firm than there is a, a roofer or a, a really or even a retail store, maybe a little bit different there. Uh, but uh, when you get into service businesses, it, it's, it's all the same. And, and, and the, the great thing about it, it's done for you. It's there. I mean, all you got to do is just mail that dude. That's right. You know, that's it. That's right. And, and get the response. Uh, and, and what I was going to want to go was we also show them some things that didn't work. Ah. We, now, that's almost yeah. as important as what <laughs> does, doesn't it? <laughs> it is, that is very important. Uh, if, if I could show them the rut not to go to, uh, that don't do this. We tried this. Other uh, businesses tried this. That don't work. Now, here's the key. W when you get into this type of marketing, a lot of things you're going to think works because you, you, you say, well, it works for Coca-Cola. Right. It works for IBM. Well, yeah, they've got millions of dollars to throw at this stuff. You don't, you know, and, and you need response in a, in a, in a locale, okay? They, they do branding. Uh, now, maybe you get big enough, you might can do that, but right now we can't. And uh, uh, we've, got to, uh, we, we've got to make certain that we get a response from the marketing that we do uh, and that a dollar of that or so or percentage of it goes on that bottom line for every dollar spent, and so, that's what we teach. And before we, before we leave for today, I want to make sure, what is it that you want Arborists to do right now? Okay, what I'd like for them to do is go to arboristmarketing.com. Uh, uh, sign up for the free marketing course. Uh, go there, sign up, uh, check and see if we're a fit. Check and see if there's something that we, you would like to uh, uh, try in your business, and uh, especially this rec re re recessionary time. Uh, you know, it's, it's a way to go under the radar and bring the good clients in uh, that you're not doing in, brand, in, in branding marketing and in institutional marketing. So go there, sign up, go through the course. You either like it or you won't. Very good. I know that, that we've got, um, uh, we've had a great show, and I, I really am so thankful, John, for you being on the air today. I know that if any business owner will begin to avoid the mistakes, literally go look at John's stuff. It's free anyways. And look at the mistakes that are there and how you can begin to correct those, change those, and avoid the pitfalls that really, um, that all of us will tend to fall into. Then you're gonna change your life and you're gonna change your business. You're gonna become more profitable than you've ever been. And that's what learning from leaders is really all about, is bringing you tools and techniques and leaders from around the country that are going to give you the keys to the kingdom, the keys to the profit in your business that'll make all the difference. I'm really thankful for John being on the show. Thank you so much. Right. Go to arboristmarketing.com, get the, the, the free material, and let your business grow. I mean, really, release yourself to be a life changer, a profit center, and a productive mm, business owner in your area. I mean, we all are in that point where we need more profit because honestly, in this day, illiquidity is kind of out there. But these give you the keys to making all the difference. This has been Learning From Leaders. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar. Thanks so much for being on the show, and we'll talk to you next week.